What's up guys? Looking at the latest EDC knife. This Benchmade Bone Collector. And I have a bone to pick with this knife. That's why I'm doing this video. A little bit of an update. Been carrying this now. Great blade shape. Um, very versatile. Uh, it doesn't have such an acute point, which is nice because it's a little bit better for uh, for hard use. You don't have to worry about that tip uh, you know, being fragile. Kind of a recurved spine on this. A little bit of belly, nothing extreme. Easy to sharpen. This D2 comes razor sharp when it's brand new. Um, love the way it looks, like the pattern. Very cool, kind of a fish scale type deal here. Um, when your hand wraps around, it does secure your grip a little bit, okay? Most knives, when your hand wraps around, uh, the front scale is where you want your grip, okay? And in a lot of knives, you'll see like uh, some titanium frame locks. The reverse is usually pretty flat. And there's usually a reason for that. It's not only just presentation is on the one side for the most part, but it's also because when it's in your pockets, any grip you have, particularly very aggressive grip, will uh, rip up your pants and or make it more difficult to take out of your pocket. And that's the issue I'm currently having with this bone collector. The back here, although the scale looks awesome, you know, and they went with this, I mean, the design kind of wraps around, you have these grooves that go through, and then the uh, the backspacer on here is slightly raised. Very aggressive looking, very cool looking. But they really, really needed to keep this scale flat. If nothing else, at least right here, where the pocket clip has all your tension against the pocket. I've been having some serious problems carrying this because it's ripping up my pocket and it's slow to actually take out of the pocket. So I don't like it. So much so that for the first time in a long time, I'm going to stop EDCing this. This, uh, this pocket clip texture issue is enough of an issue for me to stop carrying the knife because I don't want to ruin my pants because of it. It's a sweet looking knife. Um, love the access lock. Like I said before, I mean, it's basically just a different version of a uh, Griptilian. Griptilian style blade. The opening hole is very easy to use. Like I said, D2 blade. Blade shape's great. Awesome, 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 awesome. <laughs> What's up with that? That's not cool. That takes away from it. Pocket clip's kind of cool looking. Uh, I recently saw a, I think it was, I was one of Nut and Fancy's videos. I don't know if it was a, uh, a booth review or whatever, shot show footage, I think with Benchmade. It might have been a Benchmade uh, booth review. And he, he noted how the uh, clips look a little phallic. And I would agree. Um, although it doesn't bother me, like it might bother some people. Um, I actually think this triangular tip here that comes more to a point is easier to get in the pocket as opposed to a flat end. Might talk about that a little bit more when I do the review of this knife. However, pocket clip's fine, but why such an aggressive texture underneath this? Now, of course, if I was, uh, you know, if I had the tools and materials uh, available to me, I would make a, a back scale for this that might be a little bit different. Or an easier solution would be taking the pocket clip off and perhaps filling in this space here with epoxy to make it nice and smooth uh, and or taking the pocket clip off and simply sanding these down. I prefer not to sand it down because I think it would look funny plus it would thin the scale out a little bit too much. You can see what we got going on here as far as uh, the thickness of the scale. So the better option would probably be just some clear epoxy and uh, it would blend in a little bit. You don't necessarily have to do this whole section here. It's just I'm talking right here from like the tip of this finger to the tip of this finger. The first three grooves. I mean, where the, the bottom of the, the clip is, let me shut this. You can see it lands inside of a groove. So the material of your pants, uh, I'm looking around to see if I have any material. Let me use my, my shirt. Let me show this. Give you an example of this. All right, now obviously it's a lot thinner than your pocket material, but um, right here, it just there's too much tension. It wants to hold on to that because the material is being pushed from the base of this clip where the tension is into that groove. It's not cool, and the edges of those grooves are not they're not smooth out enough. That might be a possible fix if I take a small file, which I have. And just on the inside of this corner, let me bring this real close for you. The inside right here, if I can angle this edge so it's not so abrupt, 
that might help a little bit. So like I said, I mean, the, picture this, the material's coming in, it's going underneath this clip, and it's just getting jammed and pushed into these grooves. And uh, not liking it at all. I love the texture. I could do without these grooves. Keep the backspacer how it is. Keep the texturing, because I mean, the entire scale is textured. Looks like a very, very heavy bead blast. I love that, okay? Without these little fish scaly things, that's a cool texture, all right? Feels good, looks good. It's rounded, has a very nice finish to it. Just these things, I don't know. I mean, aesthetically, it's fine. I don't really care either way, to be honest. It's, it's aggressive looking, it's cool, but just on the back, it's not as functional as I want it to be, and it's freaking me out, and I'm not gonna carry this anymore just because of it. Kinda stinks. Might be an excuse, because I have other knives I wanna start carrying for review. But uh, I love the knife. It's fantastic. It's just, uh, it's a needed mod, in my opinion. Something has to be done about that, otherwise it will ruin my pants, and or your pants, if you happen to be carrying this. In fact, if you do EDC this, let me know your thoughts on it. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty consistent. Um, I tried this with uh, cargo pants and regular denim jeans. The denim jeans obviously being a little bit thicker material, and um, they're a nice pair of jeans, and I can see the wear on the denim, which stinks. Um, of course, if you're super tactical and you have some uh, 511 pants or something, usually you'll have your dedicated pocket, or actually some different uh, you know, versions of tactical pants <laughs> has uh, on the inside of the pocket, let's say this is the, the pocket, there's actually another piece of material that's draped over specifically for wear from a, a knife pocket clip coming in and out of your, your pocket. So it's like doubled up, it's padding. Um, of course, I could create conflict by being too thick, stretch your pocket clips out. But uh, I mean, tension's perfect. Like I said, the style is awesome. Love it, just pff, totally lost me here with that grip. Um, and looking at the knife, handling it, I really did not think anything of it. I didn't think it would be an issue. This is why knife reviews and videos on the internet and even the forums, people communicating with each other is so helpful because you would never have known that by looking at pictures. You might pick it up. You know, I've been around knives a long time, but looking at pictures of this, I mean, I'm looking at the design. The first thing I didn't, I didn't think right away, hey, you know what? It's a little aggressive right there. Is that gonna be an issue with the clip? I didn't really think, think of it. And it uh, turns out it is. So just a little heads up, uh, still a fantastic knife. If you can remedy that issue, I think it, it's awesome. And I will do the review um, in the future. I have to get a lot more use on this. Only carried uh, two days now, so. <sighs> yep. But, you know, even if you swapped it to left side carry or if you were a lefty, you got the same deal because you have uh, symmetrical handle scales here. So it would just be covering the uh, the other side here. And this is only tapped for tip up. I like that. I like tip up carry. It's cool. If you had tip down, no, no, you know what? The pocket clip length would still <laughs> land right on the groove. So even if it was tapped for that. Anyway, cool looking knife. Very, very cool. I love the design. I mean, it's very nice. It's just, you know, not going to be a dead horse. You get the deal here. So just a little uh, update on that. So that's it, folks. I will, uh, start carrying other knives and doing other reviews. But in the meantime, I will keep this around the house and I will uh, have to purposely use it elsewhere, cut up some boxes, you know, cut some straps and stuff like that um, so that I can do a review on it because there's not enough pocket time with this knife to, uh, to review it yet. So you'll see a review down the road. I have other knives I'm ready to review next. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.